Hi, this is Angela Wolf, and today I'm going to show you how to make pockets for your jeans that look professional, regardless if you're using my pattern or somebody else's. During this pocket lesson, I'm going to be using one of the new V-Series machines from Brother, the Dreamweaver XE. It has some really cool features, like this laser light, which I can use to sew perfect top stitching on my pocket. But don't worry, if you don't have this machine, you can still make the pockets. You just might be drooling over this cool, the cool effects on this machine. So one of the most important parts of making your pockets look good is to have the right side look the same as the left side. And a lot of times people will ask me, how can I do that? Well, the important part is that you're sewing the same direction on both sides. So here I have with right sides together, and I'm using the laser light on this new machine, which is really cool. I have the laser light lined up with the edge of the fabric. I was actually a little curious to know how this would work on the curve, but it actually works quite well. So the laser light is set all the way to the right setting as far right as it'll go. I think it has like a 10 or 10.5 millimeter range. It's great. So, and then I have my needle to the far left. So this is the perfect seam allowance for these pockets. So here I'm stitching down to the point, but see how that laser light just kind of lines up with the edge? I don't have to stare at the presser foot anymore for my quarter inch seam allowances. So I stitch the edge and I back stitch and then I stop. So that's one side that's complete. Now I'm going to flip the pocket over and do that same stitch again. So see what I mean? I'm stitching the exact same angle. Now if your pockets, if you're using somebody else's pattern or a different pattern, uh, just trim your seam allowances to a quarter of an inch. It's so much easier to sew that way. So here we go all the way down to the other side again going all the way to the tip and back stitching. So now you have a perfect point, but you can't flip that over and make a good point on a pocket. So you actually, I'm going to stitch a line right across that tip. I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times to make sure that no stitches fall out. And then I'm going to go and trim along the seam allowances right towards the end. So that actually will allow my point to become a point. Here I have the handy dandy pink hammer. It's pink so my husband doesn't steal it. And I hammer all the seam allowances. It really me melds your fabric to really thin. So when you top stitch, you don't end up with any skip stitches. Now I'm going to thread my machine with regular thread. Of course you can always use denim thread, but this is kind of another trick if you want something a little bit more decorative or something different. So this is basically two spools of just regular polyester thread. You could also use three if you can figure out how to get your third spool on there. Sometimes I'll use the back of my serger to hold my spools of thread. So here we're, I'm taking both threads, threading the machine, both together with both threads, and because I'm using a number 14 G needle, I can still use the automatic needle threader. If you don't have an automatic needle threader, then just however you thread your needle, just get both of those threads through the exact same needle hole. So there we go. And in the bobbin, we just have one spool, you know, just your regular bobbin thread, the polyester. Now this time we're going to stitch all the way around the pocket for one continuous stitch. So I'm actually going to show off another feature on this cool machine. This is a little pen pal, and it you can tell it where to stop stitching. So I don't want to make you girls that don't have this jealous, but you might. This is really cool to see. So I've touched a spot one-eighth of an inch from the end of my pocket because I'm doing a 1 8 inch top stitching. So I stitch and it stops right there. I'm going to do my little stitch where I do a just a double like a stay stitch and then turn it and then continue stitching. Again, I used my laser light. I lined it up. I moved it over a little bit, so now I have a one eighth of an inch. And it works pretty good. And I can also use that point again. And it's so easy to use. I touch this, I touch the fabric where I want it to stop, and I hit OK. And you stitch. And that's it. Now, see those pink threads that I have sticking out? Kind of blends in with the laser light, but those pink threads are there for a reason. I actually ran them through the end all the corners because when I turn 
my pocket over to sew, I use that pink stitch to pull a little bit just to give the fabric a little a little go. <laughs> you know, think of Fred Flintstone. You need to get a little go, when, especially when you have a whole hump of fabric at the end. So, Now, if you don't have that laser light, what I'm doing here is one-eighth of an inch, one-eighth of an inch, and you can see I have a little cross. It's like a little X. And you'll see the exact point of where you want to stop stitching. And that way you can be sure that you stop and turn in the right place. So that's one row of stitching. Now I'm going to go back and do a second row, one-eighth of an inch away. And that's it. So for my pockets, I'm going to fold over the end, give it a good pressing, a lot of steam. Of course, I use my clapper, hold that firmly, and it'll keep a nice crease there for when I want to sew it onto the pants. And that's it. My pocket's all ready to attach to my jeans. Pull out my little pink threads. I don't need them anymore. And that's it. So if you're into making jeans, follow along on some of my new blogs. I'm using this great new machine by Brother, the Dreamweaver XE. It's from their new V-series. And I hope you enjoy sewing your own jeans. Cheers!